These images show Chlamydomonas green algal cells as seen through a microscope. They pull themselves forward by using two flagella. Recently, they moved into the focus of public research led by the idea to produce biological fuel. Let's take a look inside the cell. Like all plants, the algae can use light to produce energy. Photosynthesis complexes in the outer membranes of the thylakoid collect the light and transfer the energy in form of electrons. In the Calvin cycle, CO2, a carbon source, is reduced to organic carbon biobricks. In the preceding steps, they are used in the cell to synthesize sugars, proteins and lipids, or to store energy as starch, or neutral lipids in lipid bodies. Under laboratory conditions, the cell can also be enriched with acetate as an alternative carbon source to promote heterotrophic growth. First, the substance is converted to acetyl coenzyme A. Then it goes through the glyoxalate cycle and the citric acid cycle. Finally, it can also be stored in the form of starch by way of glycogenesis and neutral lipids, again via acetyl coenzyme A and lipid biosynthesis pathways. To influence the pathways, stress conditions are applied to the cell. For this purpose, the abundance of sulfur and nitrogen in the surrounding environment is decreased. Due to the deprivation of nutrients, photosynthesis is blocked and the Calvin cycle is stalled. In return, acetate is mainly used for the accumulation of neutral lipids as typical storage products under stress. Due to the inhibition of photosynthesis, chlorophyll molecules are degraded. As a result, the increased size and number of lipid bodies and the loss of pigments lead to visible changes of the cell. The fatty acids produced by the cell under stress conditions can be collected and processed for ecological friendly fuel.